Last week, if I mean, uh, you mentioned about being satisfied with what Allah has given us. Yes. And uh, you also mentioned about to consult with people of zikr and those who know and who have the satisfaction and contentment. Yes. So uh, since last week, I'm remembering this ayat of the Holy Quran, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, that Allah is saying, remember me and I will remember you. And he says in the same ayat, yes. be grateful yes. to me and do not be among the ungrateful ones. Yes. That's just like in the other ayat, Allah is saying in so many ayats. It is connected. Gratitude and the zikr of Allah is completely connected. You cannot say, I make zikr and you're ungrateful. So many of you, you are ungrateful. Men's and women's, complaining all the time. Oh, I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to do that. What is it that you're doing? Is it connected to haq in any way? To this way? No, you want to do according to your own ego here. You forget what sewer we all came from, you and me, that our Lord has given us value and put us in this way, the way of the prophets, and you're turning around and you're being ungrateful? Or you're being lazy? Yes, laziness is part of that ingratitude too. Entitled. Remember me and I will remember you. Give thanks to me. And do not be those who are ungrateful. It's the worst. You know how to have your heart broken when you help someone, that someone breaks your heart, becomes ungrateful. You think Allah doesn't have a heart? Shame on you. But you're so used to saying whatever you want to say. Allah is not punishing us right away. We're not from that nation. You say something wrong, Allah punish you right away. You do something wrong, Allah punish you right away. Because of Rahmatullahi Alameen, because of our awliya, because of our shaykhs. But you're still ungrateful. You still do it again and again and again. When you do something wrong, you have to be convinced you do something wrong. We have to scream at you like a donkey. Finally, we say, you did wrong. You understand you did? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I know, I did wrong. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. This is very American. Very American. The person who can say that means that he doesn't taste the consequences of his actions or his words. The person who tastes the consequences, who knows it is not, he gets a smack, is not going to be so, okay, I'm wrong, so, I'm sorry. There's going to be fear and there's going to be shame. Because we have so much, they're giving us so much rahmat, but we forgot that. So say, yes. My question was that, just like in the other ayats, um, Allah is saying about prayer and zakat together, same way in this is saying the gratefulness and the zikr. So you already answered my question is, what is that link? So I answered already. Yeah. So I don't have to answer. To remember Allah just to have the ni'mat, the favor that you are free to remember Allah. That is such a gift. There is such a grant. Just to do that, you have to say, thank you, Ya Rabbi. Thank you. Because if you did not remember me, I will not remember you. Because you remembered me. That's why I remember you. Just to remember Allah, that is enough for you to be grateful. And that gratitude is like a dome that protects you. Unpleasantness, difficulties, tests, shaitans. You say, Ya Rabbi, you are Rabb, I am your servant, and you are making me to remember you? Shukur, Ya Rabbi. That covers you. You become very grateful. That can protect you. That should not touch you. 
grateful people, they don't have anxiety. They don't have negativity. They don't. They don't. They are not snowflake. Little bit, uh, little bit, uh, no. Prophets, they went through the worst things. They never did anything wrong. Allah made them to go through the worst things in the hands of their own ummah that they're trying to bring to paradise. They don't have anxiety. They don't have suicidal thoughts. Because they are grateful to their Lord. The work that is given to them, they're grateful. And just because they are trying to find some um, comfort, some ease a little bit by moving away from their ummah a little bit, just because they're doing that, they're not escaping. They're not doing a, they just have a little bit of an ease. Allah makes them to go through another, another difficulty. Did Hazrat Yunus salam, blame his ummat? Uh, it's because of you I'm in this situation. Huh? Did he blame his parents? Did he blame society? Did he blame Allah? Did he complain? What wrong he did? Nothing. He was swallowed by that fish and he made that zikir. Inni kuntum min zalimin La ilaha illa anta inni kuntum min zalimin I'm the one who oppressed myself. Yeah, you're just complaining, thinking other people are oppressing you. This is the reality. When you complain, you think you're being oppressed. But you never see how I'm oppressing others. You not see how you oppress your own ego. Oppress your own ego? We wish you would. But you're not seeing how you're oppressing your spirit. You're strangling your spirit. In gratitude, you oppress your spirit. Complaining, you oppress your spirit. Forget about the injustice that you're doing to Allah and His mercy and everything else that is coming. And that is going to show. It's going to show in your actions. Whatever is in your heart is going to show in your face. If it doesn't fit what is in your heart to your face, change your face. Because they may say, I don't like this one's face. Get rid of it. Because we know how your face looks like when something nice is presented to your ego. Your face is not like this. Your face is like this. So open. Change your face. You're very stubborn, but you don't even know that stubbornness. You're very arrogant, but you don't even know it. Big problem ahead. They will teach you in your grave later. They will teach you. You cannot escape. Now you're still escaping. Now it's very difficult for you to see. You can still escape. You can still deny. And watching some of you in the zikr of Allah, you have the most proud faces. You're not jumping into the zikr. Allah, 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 Allah. Okay? Watch what I'm going to do to you. In the zikr of Allah, you're not running to Him. You're showing arrogance. Oh, remember me and I'll remember you. Be grateful to me and do not be from those ones who are ungrateful. And you're going against the ayat of Allah. Now you're asking me what problems I have? I don't know. Do you understand? You go against the ayat of Allah. Do you know what it means? In shariat, if you deny one ayat of Allah, what you become? You know the meaning for that. So what the hell are you talking about? Still, um, academically, I don't understand. You're still not knowing what tariqat is. It must affect your breath. Your heart is not going to beat. Your heart is not going to shake in the remembrance of Allah. They'll make your heart to shake over nothing. Your heart is not going to shake when you're making a zikr. They'll make your heart to shake over nothing. Yeah. 
is happening to majority of people today, right? Yeah. Your heart is not shaking. If your heart is shaking in zikr, we know the signs. You don't have to be an awliya to know. You're losing yourself. No, you don't, you're not even in it. Loud zikr. Okay, good. I'm grateful. Very wrong. Very bad manners. Very bad manners because in the zikr, the angels, they come. Holy ones, they're coming and they look at <coughs> this one. They begin to say, disgusting. Look how ungrateful he is in this majlis. Maybe you do 1,000 wrong things, but you come and you show respect. You show respect this one time, one week, few minutes. You show respect You say this is Wednesday. You also say this is Wednesday. You show respect. You say. You don't. You want to show something else. They will pile it up on you. Are you understanding this? Are you understanding this? Are you understanding or you don't understand? Act. Act like it. Put it in your life. Behave like you understand. Put the understanding in your behavior. This is not a sohbet where you go, hmm, oh, that's very intelligent. Oh, subhanAllah, that's very mystical. Who cares? Kafir can give that kind of talks. So many. But for you to understand yourself, you're not understanding what your ego is doing to you, how much it's sabotaging you. It's very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. He is our biggest enemy. Shaitan is our open enemy. Our ego is our hidden enemy. The hidden enemy is more dangerous than the open enemy. So many of you, you are buddies with your ego. Inseparable. Inseparable. You say this? That's why when I speak to some people, they say, really? Really? I'm like that? I'm not like that? Whole world can say, can see this is wrong. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, no. It's not me. I'm okay. I'm happy. I'm this. I'm that. Inseparable. You become so stuck together now. Watch out, holy days and nights are approaching. Big fires are approaching. I'm not here trying to put you to hell. I'm not here to punish you. I'm here trying to wake you up. So you pull yourself away from the fire that you make for yourself. I'm here to say something that I remember from our Sheikh and to bring you to his paradise. But you are burning yourself every day and you're claiming you are in paradise. I say, wake up. You're blind, wake up. You're in trouble. In the zikr, you cannot have the proper manners. Oof. It's showing you're ungrateful. We know better. People in this jamaat know better. Those who don't know, they can lie in front of me and eat and say Allah. They don't know better. I've seen people do that to Shah family with my own eyes. They call themselves Sufi. So much they know. They think they are so free. They're lying on their back, eating, and they're saying, Allah, Allah. So if any laugh at them, we laugh at them too. Because they are like donkeys. It's okay. What are you going to do with a donkey? You're going to teach him things? No. 
donkey only brays for two reasons. One, because it's hungry, and the other one is because he's hungry. What do you do? You teach them? No. You give them carrot, you give them stick. We are not donkeys. Don't treat yourself like a donkey or else you'll be treated like a donkey or worse. That time the animal world will curse at us because we have been created as Hazrati in Sun. That behavior, that ingratitude, that dirty face is not the qualities of a Hazrati in Sun. That laziness, that escaping is not the qualities of Hazrati in Sun. That dirtiness running after your own pleasure and that, that is not the qualities of Hazrati in Sun. We are not here to become animals. We're here to learn, to walk on the way to become Hazrati in Sun. Because if you don't become Hazrati in Sun, you will have no honor. Because Allah says, and we honor the children of Adam. So you don't want to learn, huh? Go somewhere else. Go find another shaykh that's going to praise you. You don't have to stay here. Good, people are leaving. I like it. Because more sincere ones, they're coming. Every time one... <coughs> foolish ones decides to go, Allah sent 10 good ones to come. MashaAllah. I do my calculation. I said, only two left and we got 20. What if 10 left? I could let go so many. 10 left. Yet so many coming. Please. It's not my job to kick people out. Eh? You kick yourself out. But if you don't respond to the treatment now and you become more arrogant and more stubborn, then we say, you are not happy here and we are not happy with you. Go find your happiness somewhere else. That's all. Astaghfirullahaladzim wa tabiyah. We are here to worship. You cannot worship when your ego is dirty. You cannot. May Allah forgive me and bless you. May Allah raise the station. Sahibul Sayyid, inshaAllah. Al Fatiha. Done. Assalamu alaikum.